Alright. Ultimate live stream starting mid game. <laughs> so basically what I'm doing today is I'm experimenting with a hybrid build right now. Yeah, I know, I know, it's crazy. Be playing with a hybrid right now. This I'm only gonna play with it this game though. I've been testing it and it's the same results I've been getting with every other hybrid build. What up, Compton? So not really gonna take it to much further than this. I just got the flames go horn what for your club? A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. I don't remember what that sounds like. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. And with play underway. For your player, okay. Cool. So far Toronto's been through this before, so this Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so this is just a this is just a throwaway game for me really. This is just like, I know the hybrid isn't really going to work, but I need to try something. So after this game, I'm just going to go back to the butterfly and just get working, you know. I've decided I'm just going to live stream on... I'm using a hybrid. I'm using a butterfly effect, a post to post x-ray, and it's 65190. And I tried something different, I'll need to show you, but you know when you adjust your height and weight? It shows the attributes like plus three or minus two after you adjust your height and weight. After I adjusted my height and weight, I put all of those back to their default. So if, like, I adjusted my height and then my glove went down three, I put it back up three. So I made everything their default options to see what it does to the build and it is the same results but you need to try everything okay because what if that did make it what if that fixed everything yes I mean I'm gonna I'm only using this hybrid for one game I've been testing it it's just it's probably one of the better hybrids though like I've been getting good save animations I've just it's not as good as my butterfly stand-up for me though, so there's no reason for me to use it. But it's still a pretty solid build. But yeah, I will be using the butterfly after this game. More than half the period left to play. We are all tied up in this one. Yeah. I, me too. I, I figured something out with the butterfly. I don't know if you saw my stream or not. Uh, their goalie's not moving. But uh, dialed in for the butterfly. I wouldn't put it in gold. I'd rather have butterfly effect on. But I, I would put it in silver. Uh, my, my life's been doing fine. The same, same thing for since I started streaming. Glad to have you back, Swims. But, uh, what was I saying earlier? Yeah, the butterfly build, I don't know if you saw the stream, but I changed it up, and it's much better. Like, see, the hybrid is still very good. You just saw that save. I was kind of late to that, too, so it's still pretty good. But the things it lets in are kind of weak, so it's not really my top build but you know but what I changed with the butterfly I'll show you the build but I made the agility higher to 86 and then put my sp ugh, put my speed down to 89 uh, nobody's over there I'm just gonna throw it out we're getting some good work in and I was scared to do that. I didn't want to put the speed down to 89. I thought it would make the five hole really bad, but it actually made it better. Putting the eight, putting the agility up to 86 for the butterfly. I think agility somehow correlates with five hole as well because it made the five hole better. But I don't worry. I've tested it with the stand up. I don't think agility makes the five hole better on a stand up, but it makes it better on a butterfly for some reason. I'll show you the build. 
if you if you found great success with the other butterfly build you'll find great success with this butterfly build i'll show you later I've decided I'm gonna live stream on weekends and not as much on weekdays because weekdays uh that was on me. Weekdays it's like you know, I'm more busy on weekdays and weekends more people are on, more better way better games on weekends because more people are on, more sweaty teams. So and, and it'll put a lot less stress on me because I won't have to worry about editing the live streams and stuff and then uploading them on YouTube and all that. Archiving one hour live streams are not easy. Let's go Compton, double shutout. Let's go. Yeah, people love the butterfly. And that's good. It's good. Yeah, I found that the butterfly is probably my uh, the people's favorite builds, and it's starting to creep up to my favorite build too for fours because it takes care of split animations. I fixed the cross crease when I ha when I made the agility to eighty six and then the speed thirteen shutouts. Let's go, and then I made the speed eighty nine. It helped with the cross creases because I could put post to post in silver and butterfly effect on at the same time. Those two things team up and help with the cross crease. But this is all theory, but all I know is that it, the cross creases are much better for the butterfly. And you guys don't need to just take my word for it. You can look at it for you, you can look at it for yourself. I posted the live stream on YouTube. You saw I played two drop-in games. Not many people were on the clubs, but you guys saw plenty of saves. That proves what I just said to be true. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it today. You can see it for yourself and use it. But I have not used it in a club game yet, so. But I'm pretty confident in it. If it doesn't work out, we can always go back to the stand up, but I'm pretty sure the butterfly is pretty elite. And also for weekends, if I live stream on weekends, a lot more people will be able to join the streams and you guys won't have to miss anything. It would just be a lot. It would just be a lot better, you know. And I'm very openly critical on hybrid builds. You guys know this. I really don't like hybrids, but this is one of the better hybrid builds, honestly. I feel like putting the attributes at its default position. Helped with something. And that pass doesn't go. And we'll reset things after that icing. Yeah, me too. Throughout the whole year, I've been switching from butterfly to stand up to butterfly to stand up. This works, this works. Switching out loadouts and all that, but I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be switching up as much anymore. Because I think I have it down now. I think I figured it out. The problem is, what EA has a problem with, they, they make the goalies, they let the goalies play for the first two months when the game is out. For the last three years, they let the goalies be elite. Like at the beginning of this game, this game was a goalie game. Like this game was great. But the thing is, it's, it was still possible for skaters to score, which is how it should be. 
Like, we shouldn't be making getting shutouts every game. I agree with that. But I don't think it should be this impossible. Uh, it's still pretty good, I, I, in my opinion. I think the goalie aspect of the game is still pretty good, but it's not as good as it used to be. Because then skaters start to complain. They're like, goalies are too good. So then they bump them down. And then, you know, it's back to square one. Then we have to relearn everything, relearn different builds. So it's just a difficult process. The hardest part is knowing when they change things. Usually after like the third update or so is when they start to change goalies. Nice save. Takes the feed. Final minute to go here in the third. No one home on that play. Puck picked up in the open ice. Quick pass to Sokolov. And that's big oh, off the stick. Oh, don't ignore that, James. I don't know if it sounded big where you were. It is now, I'm telling you. Crouching down and knocking away. Toronto's got the puck. Oh, you're coming too close to me, man. Oh, <laughs> that's on me. I thought for sure he was going to pass that. I shouldn't have moved anyway. Well, we can get more work in then and go to overtime. Also... Mm. I have a feeling a lot of people on YouTube, like I have a, what, uh, like 300 something subscribers? I can't, I can't remember. Oh shoot, no, I have 530. What the heck? Whatever. <laughs> so basically, what I'm trying to say is a lot of people are missing out. The, the chosen few that come into these streams, you guys are seeing the background of what I do. You know, you see the testing, you see the process. And then, I think the advantage of that is you guys get to do the process for yourself. If you want to spend the time to do that. Truthfully, I'm doing this so nobody else has to. But, you can test, you, you can figure out how to test your own builds. How to do all those things. And then get work in, you know. That's the advantage of being in these streams. And you get exclusive tips that I won't be saying on YouTube as much. If it's extremely important tip, I will put it on YouTube. But if it's just like a tip that, you know, you could live without but it'll make you much better, I'm going to make it exclusive to Twitch. But I am uploading the Twitch streams on YouTube, but not everybody's going to watch an hour stream. I know that much. Alright, well, we still won. What was that? I think like two goals were my fault. So I, I would count like three goals. Oh yeah, look at this. This is and this is what happens when you test builds. <laughs> two thousand RP away from my next rank. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna show you guys the build I was just using, and then I'm gonna show you the new butterfly build. Okay, so what I decided to test was what would happen if I put everything at its default position. As you can see, there are no minus twos, there are no plus ones. See, I put this minus two, and then put this plus one, and then put uh, the boost for plus two five hole, and so on. So, and this only sort of works with the hybrid for some reason. When I tried it with the stand up and butterfly, it didn't really work out and it wasn't as good I hate AI goalie when the other team has a human goalie yeah I, I 
I don't like it when one team has a human and the other team has an AI. That's when I think the game should just shut down. But yeah, this this was the build. If you guys want to use it, go ahead. But I wouldn't recommend it because I don't really. I don't know, but you can use it if you want. Now this is the butterfly build that I've been working on for a while. Two days. <laughs> That's a while. Okay. So it's very similar to the other build, other butterfly build, but the huge difference is 86 agility and 89 speed. Okay. That's the only thing I really changed. That way I could put post to post on and butterfly effect on simultaneously. I could put contortionist on, but I don't really trust contortionist as much anymore after what it did to the stand-up build, so I'm just gonna keep it off. I don't really need it. I just put dialed in on. Okay, so that's the build we're gonna be using for maybe the remainder of the stream. We'll see. Yeah, got disconnected, yep. It's annoying. <laughs> Yo, and on weekends, I'm getting... I got five people up in here. Let's go. That's five people that now know what my butterfly build is. Okay, so what I I just like to do this, and then I like to predict what's gonna happen. Let's look at what their butter what their uh, goalies build is. Butterfly effect, post to post, and light work. Okay, eighty eight speed. He's one ninety. He's gonna be kind of quick. Ninety four agility. That's gonna bite him in the butt. Eighty one. Yeah, he his five hole is gonna suffer if we just shoot there. His vision's pretty low. He has 99 recovery. <laughs> Good job, EA. You know, yeah, I, I, I fall victim to this too. And I, like, I complain openly about this game all the time. I think everybody does. But if you think about it, this is the best hockey game out there. The best one. I can't find a single better hockey game out there. Unless it wasn't, unless it was made by EA himself. I mean, that doesn't mean it's the best hockey game ever. I'm saying right now it is. The best hockey game ever for me was NHL 14. That's the game I first played that literally made me fall in love with hockey. Um, that's why my jersey number is 14. Like, NHL 14, if I didn't play NHL 14, I probably wouldn't like hockey as much. You can, but I'm just not gonna. I don't really think it's... Like, you know, yeah, I get to keep it in your glove or whatever, but, you know, personally, I don't think I need that. I'd rather have dialed in on. You can put it on if you want. I don't think it'll really hurt you. But personally, I just put on dialed in. You can put you can put light work on if you want. Again, these are just my builds. Like this is my basis. You can change them up however you want. Helps with high shots, yeah, then by all means, go for it, man. If it, when it helps with high shots, but I don't really, ha the thing is, I don't have a problem with high shots, you know? I only put things on that I have a problem with. Like, personally, 
the butterfly has a problem with cross creases. So I put post to post on and butterfly effect on. Because those two team up. And then it helps you with the cross crease. NHL 21 is the best in my opinion because when I start... Yeah. You know what? NHL 20 was when I started my goalie journey. But NHL 21 was when I first started getting good. That's when I started my online goalie journey. I started goalie in NHL 14. But I didn't play online at all. NHL 21 was probably the game where I don't think that game was made for goalies later on, but it really helped us in our positioning. Since that game wasn't made for goalies. Oh no, you got disconnected again? Pro, hook up, get wired. You need a wired modem. <laughs> but since NHL 21 wasn't a goalie game, it really helped us in our positioning. Like in the long run, it taught us good habits. Like stay on the post and how to cover angles. Well, whatever you gotta do, I guess, man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Late goings of this period. Toronto's up one zip. Carrier's won the draw. Now oh! Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Are you guys seeing five hole goals? I mean, you guys know, like, I, I played with the butterfly build. Um, it was against the computer, but you guys saw five hole. And then I played with this one, and then no five hole goals went in. Yeah, you know, I think we all have a game like that. Like, you know, everybody else might not be a fan of it, but for our personal reasons, we have a game in our heart for me that's nhl 20 great stinking memories of that game dude like that like show me the nhl 20 soundtrack like bro memories will flood and it'll be insane like every time i go to the nhl 20 soundtrack it's like dang that's like when i started playing goalie online playing drop-ins Like waiting in lobbies. Five hole goals are solid, but still goes in time for time. Yeah. You know, if they run into you, yeah, it will go five hole, but a really good build will save five hole almost every time. A lot of people excited as this opening period comes to an end. One of the all time great rock acts from the. Like here, how to test if your build is good. Don't just do it against the computer, but to know if it's usable, go in practice mode one-on-one -on -one against the computer. Don't press right trigger at all, and just see how the goalie does by himself. If you can get on a streak against that guy, against the computer, the build is usable. Then go in a game to see if it's good against humans. And then if it's good against humans, like play two, like two games or something, if it's good against humans, then that build is good. Okay. But the thing is, the computer will eat you up five hole. I don't think it's possible to save the computer every time. But if you can get on like a seven, eight... Nine save streak. And it's good. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Philadelphia's got to find another gear. The Ridge get richer than you. That, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. They haven't had the puck very much as a result. I hear trouble come. Yeah, I remember the uh, 20, 20, 
21 soundtrack. 21 was pretty good too. Like I got memories from 21 as well, because that's when I started getting good and I take taking goalie seriously. And from a video game standpoint, like I don't take it. Like I don't devote my life to this game, but you know, I consistently played goalie in 21. Tips can, I don't remember that one. Oh no, no! Now you're talking about the game. Now you're not talking about sound checks. Um, tips can be solved by X-ray. Yeah, X-ray. I, I don't know actually. I actually have a feeling that butterfly effect helps with tips as well because whenever my goalie saves the tip, butterfly effect lights up above his head. Even if it wasn't down low. Ah, uh, see what I mean? He just ran into me. He didn't even shoot that. Oh, good job, Compton. You said you might get a shutout, and look what happens. Right when you said that, I got scored on, bro. <laughs> I like to try to reach 20 points in free skate before Compton gets 10. Usually makes it. Yeah, like you can see, a, you can test builds in there that's a solid way to test builds but I don't I don't just go off that you know it's a good way to test builds but after I test that then I go in against humans to see how it does in game with cross creases and because you can't test one timers in there and you can't test tips and you can't test vision as as well Alright, this is a pretty good game. Like, in the aspect of I'm getting work in. This build is getting work. Confidence is building. Let's go. The only reason he scored that was because he deked right when he ran into me. If he just ran into me clean, I was saving that. No way you just lagged out five times in a row. <laughs> Yo, where is your internet modem? In the, ba in the basement? And you're in the attic? What was I going to look at? Oh, yeah, their goal. Okay. So, yeah, he just, his stick ran into mine, and then he lost the puck, and then it trickled. Three. He's 
Oh well. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Yo, I remember one time, like I was in clubs, and my internet was going out constantly. This was before I was wired. My internet doesn't go out at all now. But I lagged out like 20 times. Yeah, reset, reset the freak out of your game if you're lagging out five times in a row. I actually need to have a fan on my router at all times or else it re uh, overheats. I am actually in a pretty decent area for internet too. There's only one provider out here but it's we have it so. It's not the best but it's not the worst. I'll, uh, 30 ping is like I'll deal with it. 30 ping is usually what I get. With good weather like this. Like I can tell you right now, my ping is probably 36. Lowest ping response was 37. Okay, whatever. So 40. 40. Okay. That's still playable. That's like my usual still. 30s to 40s. It doesn't feel like 40, honestly. Like, I I feel pretty clean. Oh, crap. Okay, um, let me fix that before this penalty shot starts. Okay, thank you for telling me. Oh no! <laughs> I was looking at chat. <laughs> Dang it, man! This is the disadvantage. <laughs> oh man! Crap. <clears throat> I thought I had time. I was reading Compton's message that you didn't. Yeah, I did in the game after I got done eating. Alright, let's turn a let's turn a disadvantage into a blessing. Let's just get more work in though. Let's force this overtime and it'll be that much better. No, I wasn't unlucky, that was just me being stupid. I shouldn't have been looking at chat when a face off is in our zone. Oh, no. Uh. 
us home. Ready to party. He's got a hold of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Angeli. Uh, if we lose by one, it's on me. I was actually playing to win these games, too. Because I'm not really in a testing mode anymore. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And it takes a shot. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. High and wide's won the draw. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. And that slides right out to center ice. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Handles the puck. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked off by Carrier. And it's a quick pass to Angeli. Takes it to the front. Whoa. Oh! To resume with the face off ready to go. All right, let's shut them down because we can. Ready to parties, want it. Shout out to Miracle, Toronto best hockey Jersey. movie of all time. Here's a short pass to Angeli. I don't want to hear about your mighty ducks or your whatever else. Miracle, the best. Win is a win is a win. Both of their goals were like, you know, like they didn't really, they didn't really count to me, you know. Their first goal, they just ran into me and went five hole. Their second goal, I was being stupid. So, you know, this build gave up zero goals. I gave up two. Alright, we're just going to have some decent vibe hole. I am going to pause and unpause the stream real quick, just in case. <coughs> Excuse. <coughs> Excuse me. They're, they, the other team has a Red Wings logo. If they're Red Wings fans, I respect them immensely.
Let's go. We're playing the Red Wings. And these guys went all out on that Red Wings gear too. I'm old gen right now, but I am thinking about getting new gen probably before the end of the next, before the start of the next game. Gonna save up my every penny I every penny I earn from working. Mm. It's also a reason why I'm not gonna be making as many videos because I'm gonna work and work and work until I get an Xbox Series X. But it'll be worth it, okay? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it, honestly. I just want to make sure that whatever games come out next, that people will be playing on them. <laughs> like, the, the, the hockey games, EA hockey games, will be on old gen for a long time. They'll probably be here for, like, until, like, NHL 26 or 7 or something. I don't know. But Black Friday, the Xbox Series X will probably go down to like, down a good amount in price. And I'm not getting a PS5 because, I don't know, I don't really, I'm not a fan of PS5 and all that. Plus it's much harder to find a disc version of a PS5 than it is to find an Xbox Series X. Um, maybe. I'm I'm not really, uh... Oh, nice goal. I don't really play drop-ins, unless I'm testing builds and stuff. I don't really play them to win. I actually want to beat this team because they're good. Whenever I play against a good team, I want to beat them. That much more. Like put them in their place. Uh, they're about to put me in my place. Out of the crease because I'm about to slide out of the way. That's all they're going to score. Maybe a couple good plays, but it's like mostly it's going to be breakaways and penalty shots. If teams just didn't give up breakaways and penalty shots, I don't think skaters realize how less people would score against them. How much less people would score against them. Like it's That's two or three goals right there saved. Oh my goodness, man. I said it earlier, he got too close to me and that's what I was scared of. Do you see what our defender just did? He got in my way and disrupted my animation. He kept my leg 
trapped on his or something. And my goalie couldn't rotate to save that. We're going to lose. <laughs> We're going to lose this game. I don't care what happens. Unless we completely change our game plan, we are going to lose. I don't care what we do. Yeah. That's exactly what I use trappings for. But we... I'm calling it now. We're going to lose, so I'm just going to try and keep them at 7. That's my goal, usually. So what went in? Two breakaways. I count penalty shots as breakaways. So two breakaways. Um, our skater put it in. He literally passed it into my foot and then it bounced in. And then my skater got in the way of me to save the cross crease. Those are things like you just don't have hope in. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Watch. Look at that. <laughs> I, my goalie couldn't rotate his body because our defender was in the way. And he got in the way of my leg. Like, I, like yeah, it says I'm looking terrible. I have two saves right now. I don't really care. Okay? If you're looking at this game, you would see the nonsense. Look at this, man. Get out of my crease, bro. You're not helping anything. I probably would have reached to save that. If not, I would have got awful close. Much closer than this. Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two. The middle frame ready to go. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? There you go. That's how to properly pick off a pass majority of possession lots of goals they are comfortably in control Toronto's got the puck now and he takes the feed Sends it in front. Oh, nice save here we go break away Shuts him down on the break away I thought the shooter had him here all I did was just go the side I didn't think he would shoot <laughs> and it worked. I thought he was going to shoot the other side. My goodness, almost happened again. There we go. An actual good shot. That was nice. I hope these guys proved me wrong when I said that we're going to lose. I hope they proved me wrong. 
because we're going to really, we really need to clean up our play to win this game. Our defense is getting better. First period was horrible. We're actually pressing the puck now and not getting caught out of position as much. Oh, nice block. Oh, my face, fool. No. Oh, that wasn't a penalty. Wow. Makar's got the puck in his own zone. Good heads up play to I see that. Oh. Pass on the play and puck there we go. We shut them down that period. We got three goals or two or whatever, but we didn't let them score. Pause and unpause the stream in case, just in case. Sure. For period number three is ready to go. Puck is dropped on the third, and if you love offense, well, stick around for this one. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes. Got him. Brand new game. All that work that's gone. Holy crap. And we're back to even Steven. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's all tied up. Detroit's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Toronto's got it in their own zone. All right, the problem, the biggest mistake we can make is getting too excited as a team. If we get too excited, we're going to not play as good on defense. We're going to think about offense too much. See, we get nervous, we get excited, we pass it wrong. We're going to make mistakes, so... Teal is just taking a nap. He's like, we we tied the game. I've accomplished my goal. Let's just let's just throw the game now.
penalty shot coming up after that whistle. And we got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. I'm telling you, that's how they're going to win. It's because of these penalty shots and breakaways. That's three of them. If we didn't take a single penalty or didn't give up a single breakaway, we would only have two goals against. Two. People really don't take that as seriously as they should. Hey. Let's go. If people saw every period as overtime, people really wouldn't take as many penalties. They wouldn't make stupid risks, for, take stupid risks for no reason. Oh my goodness, we're actually up by one. The only times penalties are acceptable, I guess, is if we're down two and there's like two minutes left in the game. That's when you take risks and that's when you, you know, you push for offense. But not when they're tied, man. Or when we're only, when there's still a bunch of time left. Run for your life, both of you. Nice job, Red. Oh. That was a nice play by Red. He tried, he got he slowed the pink winger down. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Up along the wing. Fires it. Crouches down. Scoops up the puck here. Through pass ahead. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Backman's going to smother it to get a whistle. Chris, if nobody's in control of the puck. Toronto's got possession here in their own end. Moves into the slot. Another penalty shot. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to have to flying poke on this one. No, I, actually, I'm not. We're up by one. I, I am going to fake flying poke, though. I'm going to fake flying poke, and usually when they do that, they shoot the side that they're on. When he's about, when he hits the circles, I'm going to pop out. Screw you, bro. Got to fake flying poke. Yeah, the D-man ain't playing too great. He took like five penalties, and he's kind of—he's not really taking this seriously. But it's all right. He made some good plays, but you know. That almost went in. Wow. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone face off. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. He's got a step. Ah! I went out to fake flying poke when I saw he beat him all the way. I went for it. I should have backed up. That's on me. That's completely on me. The Red Wings have even things 
Alright, that's one goal on me. Nice. Finally something a penalty shot that's on our side for once. And here we go. Oh my gosh, bro. Well, yeah, it wasn't really completely my fault, but it was, I, I played that wrong. That's my point. Like, I, if I didn't do that, I probably would have saved it. I'm stuck. Okay. <sighs> Run. Freak. Okay. If they get a one timer, if they get a good face off play and it goes clean, it's going in. Okay, it's out. <laughs> Alright, this looks bad. I don't really care. But I'm I feel very happy that like we these guys are so much better than us. And we're going to overtime. That is a tremendous accomplishment. Ugh. The problem the D-man made was he was he held his stick out. When you hold your stick out like that, it makes you go slower. He should have just stayed on his feet. Maybe poke once, but that's it. Or use that truculence he's been using this whole game. Yeah, he poked. He got burned. He held a stick. I was going to fake flying poke when I saw he beat him. And that was going to back up. But I decided to just go for it. And it cost me a goal. I know, but he wasn't picking off that pass anyway. If he's going to commit to the guy, might as well commit to the guy. Don't just hold your stick out. Like, he was so close to the guy, it looked like he was going to... It looked like he was trying to poke him. If he's going to try and do that, might as well hit him. Get the poke from him. Nice block, because I had, could not see where that guy was. Don't, oh, almost took the penalty. I thought he was going to poke him. Mm. Mm, nice block. Yeah, I know. Mm. Oh. All right, we're going to go through two goals. Uh, I understand what you're saying. But, here, let, let, let's just go through the goal. Is it going? Okay. All periods. 
Okay, so we can see that this he he is in no position. Like yeah, he has the pass, but from where the defenseman is, he wasn't gonna pick off that pass anyway. So what I'm trying to say is he should have just hit him or not poked. Because even if he did follow him, he wasn't going to pick that pass off. He's too close to him. He would have followed him like this. He would have followed him all the way like this. Until about right here, maybe he would have. But if he's going to poke here, he should have just hit him. He, he accomplished nothing from doing that. Now let's look at this goal. This is just nonsense. I swear, the only overtime goals that go in are nonsense. Like, come on. Zero five-hole goals in the last three games. And then the one time we're in overtime, the game puts it there. I can, I, I can almost promise you he did not aim there. The game puts it where it wants to sometimes. Like, no skater is this accurate in their shot. No skater. You saw zero five-hole goals unless they ran into me. This guy didn't run into me. He shot it. So there's no excuse, game. There's no excuse. And goalie interference is non-existent. He ran into me before that went in. That should have been goalie interference. Look, contact was made. Oh, that was close, actually. Yeah, look at this. Is that in? No, it doesn't count as in. He's hitting me, and it wasn't in yet, technically. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever. I, I still count that as a successful game simply because 90% of the goals were just penalty shots and breakaways. I don't really count those as real goals. At least not... It's like it's, not, it's nobody's fault on those. It's not the build's fault. It's not my fault. So I don't really care about those. I don't take them seriously against the build. All right, that's going to be the stream, though. Uh, that was a pretty good game. I got some good work in. Uh, so, I think I rest my case that this butterfly build is very, very good. That's three games, two wins. So, that's a successful stream. Uh, I might not stream tomorrow. I'm probably still going to play, but I might not stream tomorrow. I don't, I don't know if I want to uh, have to go through the process and all that. I, I might just play tomorrow. Or I might not play at all. Who knows? I might just take a, take a break. But I'll see you guys next, either tomorrow or next Saturday. Or next weekend, whatever, whenever I stream. See a see a Compton, see a soup, see a swims, or any or anybody else that was anonymously joining. Appreciate ya.